Yo. Okay, this is an important one, boys. Stay tuned. This is an important one. This has come to my attention very recently. Um, I don't know why it's, this is something I've only just discovered, but... I mean, I've talked about it in the past with like other people on self-improvement, but it never really clicked for me. But now I get it. All right, Dan, what the fuck is it? Tell me, what the fuck is it? Okay, it's like dedicating time in the day to specific things, but being almost really closed off about it. So I'll make an example. I'm bad at explaining this, but I'll make an example. So you go to the gym, right? And when you go to the gym, you focus on basically breaking down your body you to build up better. You focus these one and a half, one, two hours to specifically doing this. When you get home, you don't be like, okay, 20 more push-ups. And then in the evening, you're not like, 20 more push-ups. Like, it's not in your head for the rest of the day after you go to the gym because you've done it. You've done that part. It's completely out of your head, out of your, you know, mental flow. It's the same should apply for other things in your life. So maybe you're a student and you're constantly thinking about studying. You're constantly thinking, okay, I can get a little bit more in, I can get a little bit more in. You should focus on studying like it's the gym. You should focus on finding that discomfort and finding that, like, extra way to push yourself like you're going to the gym so for example you close the door you throw your phone out of the door out the fucking window just dash it all right you're no iphone 14 dash it out the window all right close the door lock the door and you focus on working for two hours no distractions nothing else nothing else is going through your mind apart from facing the challenges that are on the screen or on the piece of paper for two hours straight like it's like you're doing a workout almost like you're constantly trying to break down your body the same way you're trying to break down your brain to build up to build it stronger so you learn things and you also get better at learning at the same time like when you go to the gym you get a better body and you also get better at working out at the same time this is a similar thing so yeah let's make another example i'm trying to think now Okay, maybe you're trying to learn a new language. I mean, it's a similar thing to studying, right? It's you focus for an hour a day on religiously learning this language with nothing else in your focus, nothing else in your mind at all. And then, and only then, will you get the most out of that practice. So you get me, right? You get me. Man, it's such a nice day. I love the strangers walking past this field and just staring at this guy, being like, what the fuck is he on about? You wouldn't get it, bro. Okay, so deliberate practice is what we call it. Deliberate practice. And implementing this into your life will see major benefits, no doubt. So there's research done that putting in focused work with no distractions at all actually improves the the layers around your neurons so like myelin my if you've heard if you know anything about like anatomy or anything myelin is strengthened around the neurons some fucking bullshit like that so that learning is easier and it basically means that the circuits are more succinct and that they fire quicker this is how to become a top g boys this is how to do it and it's only just clicked for me so you know after this video you know i'm gonna walk around for a bit get in the nature if you're home you eat my iphone 14 out the window no distractions focus 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 onto the task get better at learning and learn at the same time that's how to become a top one percent student top one percent businessman is to put it all into one spot and where you learn and you develop all of these things you need to do at the same time. All right, boys, I think that's it. So, 
you the iPhone 14 boys. See you later.